Hello and welcome. I'm here with Mark Jackson, a co-founder of Blooming Visions. He's an art director and brand strategist, and he's worked with many well-known brands. He has read the book and done the workbook, and I would like to ask him a few questions. Hi, Mark. Hi. So my first question is, what motivated you to read the book? So, uh... I was going through a period of transition, so I had just kind of more or less con um, closed my consulting business and I was um, talking with a few friends and we were, we were just, you know, thinking about what to do post this situation that we're all in, lockdown was affecting many things and really I needed some inspiration, I needed some personal inspiration. I, felt um, quite challenged by uh, having to close one business but I was really looking to do uh, something about the future uh, and then at the time uh, one of my friends actually recommended the, the book and um, that's where it started. Thank you and um, how would you say has it helped you through this challenging time? So I don't know whether there is probably any time to start a business, but starting a business uh, uh, in the midst of a pandemic, um, when you, your circumstances are really challenged as mine were, it was, it was um, fundamentally uh, a turning point for me in taking the plunge, not only in the business that I'm now in with my, my friend, Blooming Visions, as you described, but, but really helping me shift my perspective um, and understand really why I needed to think of myself and, and treat myself differently. Um, I, can, I can honestly say um, it's helped me in an enormously spiritual way. Um, and it's helped me in understanding myself in a way that, um, as a guy, often um, we find that challenging to do and say. Um, and what I found amazing in this uh, book was an ability to reference that with um, no baggage, with being able to take what was an astounding framework for this book and, and apply it into my life in a way that I could take it, not just very much importantly from a business perspective, but really crucially from a personal perspective, my, my relationship, my family, my, my daughter, my wife, and my, my wider family. So it, it, without question, it has helped me in all of those ways and more. That's fantastic. Thank you, Mark. Um... I think this is a very important point about men uh, today uh, who are facing quite a lot of challenges, I think. So what would you say is the most important or the one insight right now that is the most important to you? So one of the key things I think is, is living true to my true nature, I think, and, and according to that true nature, but also understanding it. And I think beginning to understand the potential that fits within it, and as, as was referenced in the book, that it's a muscle, that actually it's something you build and that you grow. But also this idea that everything is connected um, and that in some ways, you know, there are no coincidences in life. And that actually understanding that that exists and some of the amazing principles of, of bringing uh, quantum physics into the conversation and, and understanding the, the nature of the, the synchronicity, synchronicity of life, I think is, is just uh, astounding to me. Um, and, you know, I think that's something that has really helped me kind of look at myself. There's one really amazing quote that I, you know, in reading the whole book, there are loads of different uh, things I, I took from it, but there is, is one thing that I think is particularly true. I, I, I am a guy that is in um, advertising, in digital, in branding. So there are, you know, lots of kind of pressures on life. Uh, but this one quote that I like from your book, which was, um, we need not fear competition from machines and computers unless, unless that is the only thing we aim to be. 
And I think just in context of our lives right now and this need for the self and reflecting self in society, this idea that actually you can be yourself and that there is something around your true nature, I think is has been the one really amazing insight for me. Wow, thank you so much, Mark. I think that will probably speak to a lot of people. I was going to ask why you would recommend the book, but I think unless you want to add something, I think it's become quite clear. Well, I would add one thing. I think sort of uh, one thing we often imagine um, that turning to anything that can improve your personal development comes from a position of crisis. And I'd say whilst that was probably true for my circumstances, I think we're all in a really interesting position. And I believe that sort of the way this book can help you can be applicable no matter where you are in life. Um, and I mean, I'm always been the kind of person that looks for the road less traveled. Um, but I honestly believe that by capturing the essence of what this book can teach you can fundamentally change your perspective on yourself, your role um, in your own life, but that you don't have to be dictated by your circumstances, but actually you can control them. Um, and there's so many amazing points, tools and references that exist within the book that have just completely transformed the way I look at that. Um, so I can only and honestly say that, that you don't need to be in a crisis. You can be in any position in life and still get a huge amount from the book. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. And um, th that's it for now, for today. Okay. Bye. Bye.